Hi everybody, it's uh, Simone here at Catervale um, Physio and Wellness. Hi, um, I hope your day is going well. I'm just going to do um, a quick workout. This week we're going to, well this week at the studio, um, it's pick and mix week. So I thought I would um, involve a foam roller and a band. But I will give you alternatives if you don't have um, these at home with you. And if you are injured or um, rehabilitating, then you know you've got to take it steady. So I will give you the options. Um, you can do more repetitions, you can repeat the workout, you can add it on so that you can, you've already done today. Um, so you've just got a few options. But also, I, what I need you to remember, as always, is be safe. So if you ever get a sharp pain or something that doesn't feel right, then you must stop immediately. And even more so at home, because you are there doing it on your own we need you to be safe, okay? So, let's start by just growing nice and tall, having our arms down by our sides, lengthening up out of the waist, going through the crown of the head, keeping the chin and the ribs dropped, pulling the tummy in, lifting that pelvic floor, making that connection together, and bring your arms down by your side. We're gonna turn our head to the side, and centre, and side, and change. Let's do it once more. And looking down, and as you look up, really feel like you're opening the chest rather from the chest rather than shortening the back of the neck. Okay, so that's really important. So as you drop the head down, feel that stretch on the back of the neck. So if you're sitting at your desk, you've had um, a busy day so far, and this just might be quite nice. Just stretch and hand your hand in. Stay there for five. Four, three, two, one, and lower, changing legs. Pulling up out of that sporting hip, and up. Two, three, four, five, and lower. Good. Let's try it again. Lifting, balance. Two, three, four, five, and lower. And swapping over. Five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Good. Try and balance, eyes closed. If that makes you feel really vulnerable and you don't want to, that's fine. You can just hold here like we just did. But try it with your eyes closed because it's a whole whole game. So you're going to balance, fully balance. When you're ready, close your eyes. And five, four, three, two, one. And swap over, fall over like I just nearly did. And lifting up, um, balance, close your eyes for five, four, Three, two, one, and relax. Good. It's a bit scary, isn't it? When you close your eyes, you've got to pull up, you've got to think. I think my foot was wobbling really hard. So that's a good one to practice every day. It just shows you how much we rely on our, on our sight for our balance. We're going to have nice, strong ankles really drawing up through the legs. Okay. So if um, you want to make this a little bit harder, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to stand in a tandem stance. So you've got one foot in front of the other. You're going to lift up, and as you come back down, placing your heels heels down, but your weight is forward. So you can't lift your front leg, but you're going to lift it up. And you're going to have your arms here. So let's just do a nice, gentle arm flow. In fact, if you've got a band, you can add it in. Lift, and lower, and lift, and lower, and lift, and lower, nice and slow. You can do a little pull here, shoulder height, and back down, up, and pull, out, keeping the fingers nice and long. So, don't forget taking that weight back, we want to keep the weight forwards, but both heels are on the floor. Out, and lower, and last one, up, and out, and in, and lower. So, coming back to this double arm flow, we're going to come up. We're going to do a bow and arrow arm, so you're going to pull the arm back from the elbow and if you want to twist your head, then you can. Pull back and up and back and up. So you've got four and three and two and one and swap that. Bringing the other leg in front, lift the right. Coming back down, weight forwards in to the heels. So let's do four 
forward knees. Three, two, one, and relax. Pick up your bend. And again, then you don't have to use a band at all. You can apply your own resistance as you come up. And then now we're going to take the band out to the side and lower. And again, if you don't have a, a band at home, you can do this exactly the same without it. Really feel that you're resisting your arms coming up, resisting them coming out to the side, in and lower. So if you've got a band, great. If you haven't got a band, don't panic. Okay, we're going to do a forward stepping lunge. So feet are hip width apart, start with your hands on the hip. We're going to step forwards and come back up again. Forwards and up. We're going to lift up out of our waist so our knees are nice and light. So I don't want you to drop the whole body down, I want you to lift up. So lift and close and lift and close. So keep going. Now we're going to add the arms. So you've got this option, hands on your hips. You've got arms coming up to tabletop. Tabletop, up to shoulder height. Do not do tabletop, that would be interesting. You can use the band forwards. Or you can use your roller. So again, imagine this shoulder is really heavy. As you lift it up, shoulder height, shoulder height. There we go. Lift and lower. Up and down. So you don't want to come up too high. So if I go from the side, so forwards, together, forwards, together, forwards, lifting up. So the knees are nice and light. You're pushing off from the feet. Here. Now we can go forwards, lift the roller, bring it down, and we back up. Forwards and lift. So when you lift the roller, and we're only going up as high as you can without moving the shoulders. Bring it down. Forwards, up, down, and close. Forwards, up, down, and close. Forwards, up, down, and close. Forward, up, down, and close. So you can easily take your arms above your head, but what that isn't doing is keeping your shoulder joint nice and stable, and that's what we want. So we're resisting, shoulder down, lift, up, and down. Forwards, lift, up, and down. Forwards, lift, up, and down. Good. So you can do quite a few of those. You could do four sets of four sets of ten, then add the other arm in. So you can do quite a few other sets. Raise your heart rate, low impact, lift up out of the knees, okay? So you don't want any pressure into the knees. So we're going to do a little side sway, moving the roller over. Now, when we do it standing upright, it's okay. We've got a little bit more hip action than we needed. We're rolling on the outside of the foot, <coughs> excuse me, and pressure on the knees. So we're going to make it harder. We're going to come back into this lunge. We're going to make sure that the knees are moving with the toes. We're going to hold the roller. And you're going to side bend. Sway. 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 Now as you pull the shoulders down, you're going to really draw the abdominals in. And we're using our obliques as well to take us over nice and slowly and change. Now, if you don't have the roller, you can have your arms out to the side, keeping them level over and over. So we're getting this side bend this way and that way. We're keeping our hips nice and still as you sway. You can have the bend. So, so you're keeping that position nice and still. You can apply your resistance over and over and over and over, coming back up. As the body's starting to get tired and fatigue a little bit, try not to let the posture or the technique sink, okay? 
So you're lifting up the whole time, making sure the tailbone is nice and flat. We don't want to arch the back, we don't want to sink. So we're here. So we lean and lean and lean and lean. Shoulders down, open the chest, pull the tummy in. Keep going. Four and three and two and one. I'm just going to roll the back. Four and three and two. And one, four more. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Coming back up. Good. Do you like that? Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Okay, I'm going to come to the floor. We're going to do the side. We'll cut my back. I'll turn onto my side here. And we're going to, again, you can use the roller for a kneeling plank. Now, kneeling planks are good if you are just getting into planks or you're rehabilitating. Holding your body in a long plank is really hard for the shoulders and the lower back. So when we condense it, we have our knees bent. That's not to say it's any easier, um, or that much easier. Band, 
you can pop one of those on. But if not, you can just use your breath. All right. I need to come up with this. So make it go across. Hold on to it. So you've got that resistance as you lift and lower. So your head is down to keep you straining the neck as you lift and lower. Your knees are at that right angle. You're squeezing your glutes. You're pulling um, your abdominals in. You feel that in your obliques as well. So we've got four, and three, and two, and one, and one. Let's swap sides. So again, reset. <coughs> Excuse me. Making sure you feel like you're in the right place. Those knees are straight, the hips, knees and the feet are stacked. So so this arm can come in front. If you find that you don't need this arm, you might be too far back, in which case, see what position your knees are in. Let's check that out to square. As you lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. So remember the foot is as high as the knee. Studio and hopefully I'll see you soon. Alright, take care. Bye.